The duration and intensity of the COVID-19 pandemic have created a remarkable strain on the lives of healthcare providers. They cannot escape witnessing the effects of the pandemic restrictions on patients, colleagues, and family members. The isolation, mobility restrictions, PPE, and social distancing create a heavy load for healthcare providers. The suffering, loneliness, physical, mental, and emotional exhaustion can feel devastating. All the while, healthcare providers are striving to give excellent care to patients and remain accountable to their professional commitments and obligations. This is amplifying the effects of the pandemic on them. The ECHO study revealed that healthcare providers are experiencing empathy strain. While empathy is crucial in healthcare, it is critical to maintain the self-other distinction. Practicing self-compassion is crucial to ensure you can have empathy for others. Self-care practices themselves can feel like another item for the to-do list, but a concurrent study revealed the powerful effects of brief mindfulness practices on building resiliency and reducing burnout. An antidote to empathy strain is self-compassion. Self-compassion is a practice and an act of goodwill and invites us to speak to ourselves as we would a friend or loved one. To assist healthcare providers with the struggles associated with empathy strain, we are offering an evidence-based solution shown to assist people to develop resiliency and wellness. Perhaps you can try this strategy today. Today, we invite you to use two or three moments of hand hygiene to take a self-compassion break. Speak to yourself in the same kind way you would a friend or a colleague. Gift yourself a compliment for the efforts you put forth today. Remind yourself that your best is enough. First, pause for a moment and consider the kindness, care, and compassion you have been providing your closest colleagues when they experience a stressful moment, encounter the death of a patient, or grieve the restrictions imposed on providing compassionate care. What are the things you think, say, and do in these moments to show your care and compassion to colleagues? In these moments, do you believe they've done their best and that their best was enough? Now, hold yourself in the same kindness, care, and compassion. Believe that you did your best, that you did enough, and that you are enough just as you are. Thank you for the care you provide to yourself and the care that you are providing to patients.